What's up everyone, it's Abhilash here. I'm sorry for the shaky video because uh, I wanted to show you something different this time. I've been making this opinion video for quite a long time now. So this time I wanted to show you something different. So here I am on my uh, laptop. So I would be showing you something very different this time. Now, if you guys are familiar that uh, if you are using Windows 10 on your laptop or desktop or even Windows 7, when you use Windows Update to update your PC, you get many new features, many new security updates on your desktop or laptop every time you update the PC. Now, after upgrading your PC, you must have seen that the PC runs a bit slower than it used to run before the update. All right. So why that happened, I would be telling you about that today. I would be showing you how you can try to fix that and also what you can do to actually avoid that thing in the future so if you see in my desktop I'm so sorry about the shaky video because uh, I am recording it uh, without any kind of tripod stand here so if you see in my computer screen um, right now you will see that this is the desktop this is Windows 10 I'm using this applies to Windows 8 8.1 as well as Windows 7 so what happens is when you update the Windows all that thing get that gets downloaded from Microsoft's website or Microsoft's download center they are stored in a folder in your my computer now you just need to locate that folder and you need to delete all those things in order to retrieve that space and those that memory that that those files are using all right so so if you want to go ahead and delete those files you need to enter safe mode because once you are in windows uh, you won't be able to delete it right like that you need to enter safe mode in order to delete those files or else there is another way that's a bit complicated compared to entering safe mode i'll show you the safe mode method this time so that folder out here is if you see you go to my computer here just open this go to c drive and then you move to windows windows folder now when you are in the windows folder you make sure you don't delete anything that you are not aware of because if in case you delete something something which you should not then your computer can crash so don't do something like that in the windows folder you will just scroll down uh, you will find a folder called software distribution you just need to go to this folder software distribution here and you see all those files are the files which are downloaded during the windows update so you just need to delete them all together but right now you can't delete them because they are like administrator protected so you just need to check the properties now as you see i have deleted this a uh, while back uh, so i don't have that many files in here but still it's 98 mb but after just an update after you have updated your system you will see this normally ranges from 3 to 4 gb sometimes 10 gb as well so before you delete this file you need to make sure whether you are actually downloading some kind of windows update or not so in case you are downloading some kind of windows update just wait till the time the windows update finishes because if you delete the files while the windows is updating the windows update will fail so don't do that just wait until the windows update finishes you just go to if you are using windows 10 just go to the settings tab and um, click on the update button just see uh, just see whether you are downloading any kind of updates or not so right now it says it cannot uh, uh, cannot download any updates because like the process restarting the computer may help so i'll just uh, click retry let's see if it finds some updates or not let's check let's see if it can find some updates in case it does find some updates we will first let that update happen and then we would delete those files so it says uh, your device is up to date so there are no updates available right now so we close this window we go to windows 10 uh, advanced tab advanced menu so for that you need to go to settings go to this uh, update and security then you need to click on uh, recovery once you enter recovery you will find this option that is advanced startup you just need to click on restart now once you do that once you do that the computer will restart and uh, it will take you to the uh, recovery mode just wait for that so here I am in the recovery mode so it shows three options choose now uh, choose an option continue troubleshoot or turn off the PC we go to troubleshoot then we go to advanced option 
and then we click on startup settings so once we click on startup setting you can see it restart to change windows options such as enable low resolution video mode enable debugging mode enable boot uh, logging enable safe mode so we'll click restart and the PC will restart and we'll get the option to enter safe mode just give it some time guys it is not that fast because I'm not using an SSD right now so here we are you can see the startup settings we need to press 4 to enter safe mode so we do that we click 4 now when it comes to Windows 7 it, the, the procedure is a bit different Windows 10 has all these new things that you can do from inside Windows but it, when it comes to Windows 7 you need to go ahead and uh, you need to go ahead and uh, mm, press F8 you need to restart your PC then press F8 on your keyboard it will take you to the recovery option and there you can select safe mode the same goes for Windows 8 as well Windows 10 is totally different because this is the most advanced operating system that uh, Microsoft has right now so I am entering my PC it says welcome just uh, give it some time while it enters the safe mode and then I'll show you how you can delete that files and clean up the space also guys when you are deleting the files make sure you after you delete the files use the windows disk cleaner because those files might be at times getting saved to the uh, recycle bin or something once you delete that from there and that file would be totally removed from your PC so just bear with me for a moment uh, we are in safe mode right now we enter the my computer we go to windows drive we go to the windows folder here it is and we scroll down to software and software distribution we won't be deleting the folder but we would be deleting everything that's inside the folder just keep in mind that these are all the updates that the computer has downloaded over time uh, for you it can be like uh, very big files but for me it's just very small files because I have deleted all those things a while back so I'll delete everything that's here I'll just uh, select everything and I'll delete and uh, once I delete that everything is deleted once I delete that that, that space would be recovered and uh, everything should be there now I won't be deleting that from my recycle bin because I have some personal files out there but you after you have deleted this uh, from the software distribution folder you can right click windows click properties and you can just use this disk cleaner option and clean everything from the C drive so once you do so uh, once you do that the system would be like running as fast as it used to run before the update and once everything has been done you have done everything out here just go ahead and restart the PC so that's pretty much I wanted to share with you guys I hope you will find this video helpful in case you liked it don't forget to press the like button also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to share this video as well so this is Abhilash thanks guys for watching and uh, see you in my next video bye bye